It's April in Edmonton, so you know what that means. Bad weather and playoff hockey. Oilers fans, well, they are feeling good about their chances to tie this series on Friday night. Connor McDavid, he's all business. With an assist in game one, he's riding a 15-game point streak in the first period. The Oilers setting the tone. Dylan. He is rocked by Cassian. That one was a body rocker. The Cassian train landing on Brendan Dillon later in the frame. How about Leon Dreisaitl getting physical, stepping into Justin Braun along the boards. The Oilers out hit the Sharks 22-4 in the first frame. No score though. After one period, second period, Oilers shorthanded. How about Cassian in alone? The goon, he's got some finish. There's his first career playoff goal and Cassian's first career Shawnee, and afterwards, Cassian with a few choice words for the Sharks netminder. one nothing Edmonton later in the frame. Oilers shorthanded again. How about Cassian, another huge hit. This one on Logan Couture. Edmonton with a one nothing lead after 40 minutes of play to the third period we go. Oilers shorthanded again. Oscar Clefbaum blocks a shot from Brent Burns and the Oilers defenseman in pain on the bench. He would leave this game and not return, but in the same penalty kill, here come the Oilers once again. McDavid's gonna take off. They're still shorthanded. McDavid shoots, scores! Connor McDavid with his first goal of a Stanley Cup playoff. And I am sure it will not be his last. McJesus ices this game as Cam Talbot stops 16 shots for the shutout. Edmonton evens this series at one game apiece with the 2-0 final. Now, let's talk about the two heroes on the night. First, Zach Cassian played just over 14 minutes in this game, finished with the goal, four shots, and six hits. McDavid? Well, he extends his point streak to 16 games. The last time he was held off the score sheet, March 12th. And the Sharks, well, how about this? They surrender multiple shout-a's in a playoff game for the fourth time in franchise history. 